Welcome to Trainers. This is your work for Tuesday, um, May the 12th. And we're going to be on page 226 today to page 227. So if you can, please turn with me there to page 226. We're going to keep talking about dictionaries here. Um, and a lot of this is just practicing with dictionaries today. So I'm just going to go over the directions with you and then we'll go over page 227, which is reviewing parts of speech. And um, let's go ahead and start with number one for think A, okay? Use the guide words to find these dictionary entries quickly. Number two, write the first definition for, en for each entry. So number one, coagulate means to what? Look at your definition here um, in your dictionary. And you're gonna put there uh, the first definition for that entry. So I'm gonna try looking it up in my dictionary here. Um, give me a second here. Okay. Okay, it looks like, oh, here it is. Coagulate is a verb to form into a dense mass, solidify from a liquid to uh, con congeal, okay? You are going to write that definition if you have that. Now, that's the definition I have on my dictionary. Your dictionary might look totally different, but along the same lines, okay? You're gonna do numbers two through five on your own. Number, uh, write, think B, I want us to do this one with you. Uh, write the dictionary pr pronunciation for each of these words. Your dictionary will have the word Adobe. Okay, in the blank, you need to write the pronunciation for it. Okay, how would I write it? Well, the E is upside down here, the schwa sound that we have. The D-O, the O has a uh, short vowel, no, long vowel above it. Then we have the, uh, the, the accent sound there, the symbol B and E long e okay and that's it for number one adobe you're gonna write what your the pronunciation for each of these words the breeze uh, uh let's see lay um abalone and tortilla okay write c write c write the parts of speech from the dictionary uh that the dictionary lists for each of these uh, each of these words write one sentence with each word and label its part to speech so you're going to write the part of speech there for instance i have plug plug can be a noun and it can also be a verb so you're going to write a noun and a verb there and then you're going to write one sentence with each word um with plug for instance here and you are going to label its part of, it's part of speech you're going to write just a sentence with that word and make sure you label what part of speech you're going to use it at. If you want to use the word plug as a noun, then use it as a noun. Make sure you label noun above it. If you want to use it as a verb, write verb above it. So if I were to use a sentence in, um, if I were to use this word in a sentence, um, all right, let's see. I use a plug to charge my computer. Plug here is being used as a noun. So that is my sentence, okay? That is my sentence. All right, and you're gonna do numbers two through six. Don't forget to part, put the part of speech. Let's review parts of speech, all right? Um, let's look here. All right, parts of speech. What is a noun? A noun names a person, place, thing, idea. A verb shows action or state of being. A pronoun takes the place of a noun. An adjective describes or modifies nouns or pronouns. An adverb describes verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Prepositions show relationship between uh, uh, the noun and another word in a sentence. Conjunction joins words or groups of words together. And interjection shows strong or sudden feeling. You're going to write in the correct answers. Number one through nine. Number one, nouns can be common or what? Common or proper. Very good. All right. And then you're going to answer the rest of those questions. I feel uh, confident that you'll do well on that. You may look back at your book. Or in the very back of your book, you see some blue parts here that also talk about, see these parts here, okay, that also talk about uh, the parts of speech if you need to look back or fill in the answers. Okay, think B, underline the verbs twice and subjects once. Draw an arrow from each adjective or adverb to which a word modifies. 
diagram the sentences on notebook paper. So number one, my mom can sing very beautifully. We're gonna go over this quickly. Number one, my mom can sing very beautifully. What is my verb in number one on page 227 at the bottom and think B. Okay, my verb is can sing. Underline that twice. Who or what can sing? Mom, so underline mom once, that's a subject. Okay, what is my? My is an adjective describing who's mom? My mom. So if a word modifies a noun, it is an adjective. So draw an arrow to that word. Now you know you're gonna diagram that underneath that word. Okay, and then very and beautifully. Very is modifying beautifully. So draw an arrow from very to beautifully. Okay, that is an adverb. And then beautifully is telling you how she can sing. If a word is modifying a verb, how she can sing, it is a what? It is an adverb. So that is for number one. You're gonna diagram that on your own piece of paper, numbers one through four, and have those ready for me to turn in. Alrighty, we're just about done with English for the rest of the year. I'm sure some of you are excited, um, but I am uh, sure looking forward to, um, to, um, to getting some of your work and seeing how well